big thumb. Long ago, there was a poor, childless couple. They wanted to have a child very much. If I have a child, even if it is only as big as a thumb, I will feel satisfied," the wife said. To their surprise, soon she gave birth to a tiny child as big as a thumb. They were glad and called the child Big Thumb. Big Thumb ate a lot, but he did not grow tall. He was always the same size. But he was intelligent and clever. One day, the old man went to the forest to cut firewood. He said to himself, "I wish someone could help me drive the cart." Dad, I will drive it for you," Big Thumb said. "As long as Mum covers the harness, I will sit in the horse's ear and tell it where to go." Mother put Big Thumb in the horse's ear. The boy began to shout. On the road, he met two strangers. They felt that it was very strange that the horse was going forward. Someone was shouting. However, no one was there. So they decided to follow the carriage. Big Thumb drove the cart to the place where his father was cutting the wood. Father took him out of the ear. The two strangers saw him and were amazed. One of them said, "If we take this little boy to the city for an exhibition, we shall make a lot of money. Let us buy it." So they walked to his father and said, "Please, sell this boy to us. We will give him a happy life." His father did not agree with this. Right then, Big Thumb climbed onto his father's shoulder and said, "You may sell me to them. I will come back." So the father sold him to them and got a sum of money. They put Big Thumb on the edge of one man's hat and took him away. When it was dusk, Big Thumb said, "Put me down. I want to make myself comfortable." The man took off his hat and put him on the ground. He jumped in the dust pile and then found a mouse hole. He got into it and said to them, "Sirs, good night." You may go home now. They poked at the hole in vain with a stick. Big Thumb had got into a deep hole. The two men were angry and went home empty-handed. It was dark. Big Thumb slept in the haystack of a farm and looked forward to going home tomorrow. The next day at daybreak, the farmer fed the animals. He put a pile of hay into the barn for the cow. But Big Thumb was lying in the hay. He didn't see Big Thumb. Then Big Thumb was eaten and went into the cow's stomach with the hay. When he woke up, he found he was in a black house without windows or light. He felt it was so bad to be sent with the hay into the house. The place got smaller and smaller. He struggled and cried. Do not send me on the hay again. The farmer was so shocked he couldn't sit down. He thought that a monster was in the belly of cow and decided to kill it. Big Thumb, hidden in the stomach, was thrown on the dust heap. Big Thumb tried his best to find a way out. 
when he stretched out his head, a big wolf came there and ate the stomach. Big Thumb did not lose heart and had an idea. So he shouted, Dear wolf, I know there is a place with a lot of good things to eat. Where is it? The wolf asked hurriedly. So Big Thumb described his home carefully. Having arrived at Big Thumb's home in the evening, the wolf slid into kitchen to eat and drink extravagantly. Big Thumb intentionally cried out in the belly of the wolf which woke his parents up. They took a sickle and axe and rushed into the kitchen to kill the wolf. They cut open the belly of the wolf and saved Big Thumb. The family was reunited. Thank you.